like and subscribe button and drop me a comment down below on videos you would like to see in this video i'm going to be showing you two ways that i use the pellets um they are quite different from each other not too much but they are this will just be kind of topping up beds so i've got four of these two is for one stable the other two is for the other stable and then this is for only one stable so Let's get right into showing you what I do. And you'll put, I, I have to cut my head off so you can see the floor, obviously. So this is probably the last time you'll see my face. Okay, so let's get started. So the first thing that I do is open the bag of wood pellets and tip all of the dry wood pellets out. I then spread the wood pellets all out into the spaces that I have made, just to make sure it's all even. Also guys, let me know if you kind of like voiceovers or would you like me to say exactly what I'm doing when I'm doing it. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Now I'm just scraping down all the bed just to cover up the wood pellets that I have put down. Just to kind of cover them up really. Now I'm just flattening it out a bit and getting any of the little poos out that I can see. Okay, so now that I have put the wood pellets down, I am not going to soak them. This horse is very, very, very wet, so I don't see the point. And because it has shavings on top, so I don't really see the point. So now that I've done that, I'm just going to grab the bed of shavings and put them on top and spread it out. So here I am just halving the bag of shavings just so I can get one side on one side and one on the other side. Sometimes it is just easier that way instead of trying to get it all out of the top part of the bag and you have to keep shaking it. I do like to kick these shavings about, they break up a lot easier because they are quite fine so you don't really need to use the shavings fork to kind of spread these out because they are quite fine so it's quite good to just give them a little kick. And now I am just going to go through and flatten them out a bit so spread out any more that need to be spread and just to flatten the top part of the bed. Now I'm just going to sweep back so I do do the front bit at a slight angle and then go straight from this point here because the door is at the front so I do like to have a little angle just there. So this here is one of the beds done just with two bags of pellets and one bag, bag of the soft chip. It's funny because I don't like the wood pellets on their own and I don't like the soft chip on its own, but together I like it, it's, it's really odd. Don't know why, but don't like either of them alone, but I like them together. So let's get on to the next stable. So then in this stable, it's just going to be two bags of wood pellets just here, because Moon only pees here, where in the other stable she pees everywhere. So I just put the wood pellets down without any shavings on top, because Moon has her shavings on this side because she lays here and she pees here um 
I am using up the rest of the rapeseed straw bedding and I'm going to change it onto the soft chip as well. Just because um, she likes to drag this onto the wood pellets and then the wood pellets don't fall through the fork because this is too, it kind of blocks it because it's not as thin as the wood, um, the wood shavings. So I will change her over. I've got one more bag of this and then she will be on the soft chip. But for now, let's just do the wood pellets. So very similar starting again. So I just open the bag and empty them out, but obviously just in the spot where she pees. And these are both the same brand of wood pellets, but one of them just seems to have a branded bag and one doesn't. God knows why. Sometimes they come in the branded bag, sometimes they come in a plain bag. So here I'm just pulling all of that little bit of bed forward that was there. And I found another little poo, so I got that out. And I'm just spreading this out. So now I'm going to get onto the bit that is different. Apart from obviously there's not shaving on top. I do wet this down um, a little bit, literally not a lot, it doesn't even dissolve. Just so it kind of sits where I want it to sit. I'll show you that now. So I have got my hose on like the shower so it doesn't kind of pelt it. So I'll just kind of wet it all down until the wood pellets, obviously you can see them change in colour. Um, and I'll just do that all the way until all of them are the dark colour just to really get the top ones settling. So right here is all I do. I will not wet them anymore. Moon will wet them. But that should be enough just to kind of hold them where they are. And then once they've kind of fluffed up a bit, I'll drag that corner down so it's down a little bit. And then this is this bed done. So here you can see how it is fluffing up a little bit. Um, if you soak them fully how you're meant to, like if you want them soaked, they fluff up, fluff up so much. Like they do spill out of the bag if you soak them in the bag. Um, but as you can see, they have got quite fluffy and that is with a tiny bit of water. So now that it's kind of dried and puffed up a bit, you can, there's still some bits that are quite a little bit wet, um, but that is exactly how I like it. So it's crumbly, but it's basically, you've kind of taken the top layer of the pellet off, so it's no longer shiny. That's how I like it. I should probably show you, Let's see if I can find one that's shiny. So. This is kind of with the coating still on and this is after the coating's kind of come off. So they've not completely broke up, like they're still kind of whole, but as you can see the wood's starting to kind of break up a bit, whereas this, like nothing could break that, where I can break that quite easily. So that is the difference. So now I am just going to pull down some of this bed in the corner. I decided not to pull it all the way down, just pull it down as much so it kind of sits where I want it to sit. That is all I do for this table. So I hope you enjoyed the video guys or found it helpful. Comment down below what bed you use and how you use it. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Hey guys, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll leave some extra videos for you on this side and this side and I'll leave the subscribe button up here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.